Hard to believe, but New Year's Eve is just four days away now. And with all the ongoing COVID concerns around the country, major celebrations in places like New York City are now scaling back their celebrations, but not here in Las Vegas. Here, the festivities will largely stay the same. That's right. 13 Action News reporter John Dommel tells you why the city isn't planning any changes, and he joins us now live from the Strip. John. Hey guys, the show must go on. The fireworks, the parties, the performances are all expected to go on unabated on both the Strip and downtown. And even though that this is normally the biggest party next to Times Square, it really isn't a fair comparison. We don't have a small area where we completely control things. It's the entire city having this party. Times Square normally has about 58,000 people for its ball drop party. This year, the number allowed is 15,000. Other things to note, there will be a later entry period. Masks are required, and you'll need proof of vaccination. Las Vegas, on the other hand, is currently staying the course of normalcy. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority says it's not projecting New Year's Eve visitation or economic impact this year. We've been dealing with crowds coming to Las Vegas for the past two years. So New Year's Eve isn't really anything new. It's just kind of a, a bigger event, uh, but it's still along the same lines of everything that we've been doing for the last two years. The Southern Nevada Health District reports that 68% of the population is at least partially vaccinated. But really, if we're talking about tourists, this is a different issue. It doesn't matter what the vaccination rates are in Nevada. We're talking about the vaccination rates and all the people who are traveling to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve, which is something we really can't even estimate because they're coming from all over the world. Even though it's outdoors, the CDC recommendation is that you still wear a mask in large crowds to lower your risk of infection. We are a city based on tourism, so finding a way to deal with tourists is not something we have to think of for New Year's Eve. This is our day-to-day -day routine in Southern Nevada. Now I reached out to hotels up and down the Strip and on Fremont Street, and the only one I heard back from would be MGM Resorts, which told me that there are no immediate plans to make any sort of changes ahead of New Year's Eve. Reporting live on the Strip, John Dommel, 13 Action News. The show must go on. All right, John, thanks. And if you're not going out for New Year's Eve, can't say we blame you, but you can still party with us. 13 Action News will be live on the Las Vegas Strip at Fremont Street, Circa, and Area 15, giving you a front row seat to the festivities and the fireworks from the safety of your home. Debut 22 starts at 11 p.m., and that special coverage is sponsored by Jim Marsh Kia.